An emotional night at the sports ground as Eric Elwood took charge of Connacht for the last time. For Johnny O'Connor and Adrian Flavin, who would also mark the last time they'd pull on the province's shirt after distinguished careers. Connacht hoping to equal their best ever finishing position of eighth in the Pro 12. For Glasgow, already assured of a place in the playoffs, this was all about getting a win and hoping that that might be enough to secure home advantage in the semi-final. Conditions were difficult with strong winds and driving rain, and that was exemplified when Dan Parks missed what for him was a very kickable penalty in the second minute, the wind taking the ball off target. It was Glasgow who put the first points on the board in the 12th minute. After a period of sustained attack, the ball came to out-half Rory Jackson, and his drop goal was good, going over off the post to make it 3-0. Soon after that, Warriors extended their lead. When the Scots beat Connacht in the reverse fixture in September, DTH van der Merwe scored two tries. And he became Glasgow's record all-time try scorer when he crossed over in the 16th minute. Jackson converted to make it 10-0, but Elwood will be disappointed that the winger got to the line without being put into touch. With less than a quarter of the game gone, Warriors were in a commanding position. The wet and blustery conditions weren't conducive to good rugby and in a scrappy game scoring chances were scarce. However, Connacht did manage to get on the scoreboard just a minute before the half-time break. Glasgow penalised in front of the posts for offside and this time Parks found his range and put the ball over the bar to leave it just a converted try between the sides. Connacht 3, Glasgow 10 at the midway point. The second half wasn't much better than the first. The game probably as dreary as the weather. When Johnny O'Connor left the field for the last time as a Connacht player, he was given a huge reception from the home crowd, who paid tribute to the 33-year-old's contribution over the years with a rousing reception. When Adrian Flavin came on for his last appearance as substitute hooker, he was given a great ovation as well. But it was the visitors who tagged on the next score. There was 66 minutes on the clock when Stuart Hogg kicked a fine penalty. The full-back looking forward to his summer with the Lions. That made it 13 points to three. And it was another man destined for Australia with the Lions who made a decisive break ten minutes from time. Winger Sean Maitland had come on as a sub and scored a wonderful individual try, breezing past the Connacht defenders and just getting to the line for a rare moment of invention in an otherwise dour affair. Hogg converted and Glasgow's win was assured. It left the scoreline Connacht 3, Warriors 20. So Glasgow will face Leinster at the RDS in the semi-finals. Connacht will be disappointed that they couldn't give departing coach Eric Elwood a win in his final game in charge but the ovation he received at the end was testament to his popularity in Galway and beyond. No doubt we haven't seen the end of him, but at the end at the sports ground, it was Connacht 3, Glasgow Warriors 20.